we're gonna take a look at the brake light switch the brake light switch can be easily replaced and it's mounted right above the brake pedal so right here we have the brake pedal and you don't have to remove this panel right here and right up here right there you can see the brake light switch you just unplug it and replace it the brake light switch used to be such a simple design uh, it was just a switch as this you just press the brakes and it will turn it on the brakes on and off now the brake light switch though there are cars that still have a simple design and they have two terminals and it's just a open and close switch so some cars do still use this type but with a modern car these brake light switches are getting more complicated um, uh, as you can see here this has three terminals on this side and three on this side now the brake light switch this one not only is used to turn on brake lights but it's used to move the shifter from park to drive so if you don't have the brakes pressed you can't move the shifter from park to drive also that signal can be used to unlock the steering column my electronic steering column uh, the signal from here if, if you were gonna if you press the brakes really hard which means an emergency stop he has a switch a different switch in here different contacts that you can see right there that when you hit the brakes really hard it detects that and uses the ABS to help you uh, break faster so these uh, newer brake light switches they're not as simple as they used to be like this one right here you can simply test with a multimeter you would press the brakes and you'll see the lights turn on and off now it works with these simple brake light switches but it doesn't work brake light switch has multiple pins because uh, even though the, your lights might work fine that doesn't mean that the other uh, switches inside here that doesn't mean that they are working properly so instead of um, just trying to test this and you can technically test this you just need to either open it and look at how the pins function or get a um, the diagram for it and sometimes the diagram might be printed right on the switch itself and the next step we're going to show you how to replace the brake light switch Press on that tab right there and twist it down. Next. Press on this both these tabs. That. So brake glass switch. Plug it in. Then we have to go with this facing you, but we'll have that. Twist it a little bit, like that. Let me twist it in place. It clicked, that means it's, it's locked in. 